Hi, this is Jesse with RCAM. In this video, we'll talk to you about how to update an RCAM AVR using the USB stick method. This is the fastest way to update the RCAM AVRs. You can update it also via the network. It typically takes much longer. The first thing to do is check the version that your RCAM AVR is on. To do this, on the front panel, push and hold the menu button for about five seconds. The engineering menu will appear. Using the arrow button, scroll down until you find the host IAP version and the net version. It's a good idea to make note of those versions. Then visit rcam.co.uk under products and downloads to check for what the latest version is. If your unit is on an older version, you should download the latest version onto your PC computer. Then extract the files that you downloaded and be sure to open and read the PDF attachment for detailed instructions. Next, you need to find a USB stick. It should be four gigs or less and you'll need to reformat it FAT32 also to ensure that there are no other files on that stick. Load the appropriate firmware files onto the USB stick and you'll be ready to go to the AVR. To start the update process, turn the AVR on and make sure it's been on for a couple of minutes. Then take the USB stick, insert it into the back of the unit in the USB slot. To start the update, push together and hold the info and display buttons for a few seconds. The update will start and it will give you progress as it continues. The update will take roughly 20 to 25 minutes. When it's completed, reset the unit to factory defaults. You can do that in the engineering menu or on the front panel by pushing together and holding the info and zone buttons. The unit will reset to factory defaults. Remember, you will lose all the user settings as well as any calibration. If you run into any hangups, we suggest starting over by turning the unit off, turning it on again, and trying a new USB stick that's been reformatted and put new files on. If you need additional assistance, please visit rcam.co.uk, check the user manual, or contact your retailer or your dealer. Thank you.